we're going to make a very uh, popular Cuban dish. It is called a picadillo and it is made with ground beef. By the way, I'm coming to you, I'm boondocking at the Walmart uh, just east of Lafayette, Louisiana. And by the way, what's up with the road coming from Baton Rouge here? At, at the end, it was horrible. It was a um, very bad road. I, 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 I digress. We're not complaining about the roads today. Let me see oh, what are we having here because you know what happens to the refrigerator and the RV when you're on the road. Here we've got some ground beef I got at Publix. We're gonna use some uh, sweet peppers. Uh, where are my on onions and uh, I don't have garlic? Oh yeah, there we go, garlic. Uh, what else do we need for this? So one potato, one large potato I'm gonna use. Well, that's it for now. I'm gonna just uh, chop my onions and uh, my uh, garlic and start by doing that. Actually, before I do that, let me, you know, because time is of the essence. And I want to import uh, some video of, you know, from the GoPro that I did today, and that takes forever. That might take half an hour to do so. That's not what I want. But this is the, is the drive into the West event, so yeah. Um, just, just bear with me. Yeah, there's, there's, there's like six, there's like seven hours of footage in that card, so it's gonna take forever. The, the pretty much the whole drive from Florida and we were just west of Tallahassee you know at, right right at the, at the at the river where the where the time zone change happens that's where I stayed I don't know let's do since this stuff is gonna go bad soon I'll, I'll just do five cloves of garlic. I like garlic. I like garlic and garlic is very, very healthy. Where's my sauce? Oops. You know, the, the, I have to do this here. The table is not strong enough for what I want to do, which is smash the garlics. Eventually I need a more sturdy Oops. Five second rule. I'll just wash it real quick. Fine. I mean, it's gonna go under fire, right? As you see, I haven't quite perfected the art of cooking here in the RV, but I wanted to give it a try. I'm really hungry. It's been a very long day of driving, and I wanted to attempt for the first time to cook a picadillo in the RV. We'll see how that goes. So we first uh, we peel the, the garlics and we smash them a little bit so the juices will come out. And these garlics we're gonna mince, mince them but not too small because you know I, I, sometimes I like to find a little piece of garlic here and there inside my picadillo. So let me chop them up like, chop them up, chop them up like this. But I'm gonna put them in this plate so I can use this now to cut my onions. So of course cooking in the RV is always a little bit of a challenge. I'm just gonna use one of these small onions, medium onions here. I've been driving all day pretty much. I mean I stopped at this place uh, called the Oasis back in Alabama. You see, I'm even blanking on the name, names of the states. If we, we just chop it up a little bit, just like so. And then, you know, like little squares. You can leave them bigger. I just like to do it like this. And now, I mean, there are many ways to do this. I'm just gonna 
I'm just going to use green pepper. That's what I feel like using. I'm just going to use half because um, I don't want it to be too peppery. I'll, I'll put that away later. I'm going to get rid of the seeds. You know what? I'm gonna do a half of a red pepper as well. Why not? And here you go. Maybe and now I'll cut it a little thinner going this way. Doesn't matter. There are no rules. It's gonna taste good. It's gonna taste good no matter how I chop it. And this there was obviously one little piece of pepper that didn't want to be eaten. That's fine. I'm just gonna boom. There we go. Okay, this is ready now. I'm going to start by some olive oil in here and Heating it up. Where's my other oil? And uh, I get this uh, California oil. I like it. Just put, you know, a couple of tablespoons, enough to saute the the onions and the peppers. And let's see how this works. Now, this is potato peeler. It's not as good as the one I have at home. I have to get me one like the one I have at home. But Should work. Yeah, this potato peeler is a piece of metal. But we have our potato peeled already. And uh, when I'm cooking, I like to use a lot of these uh, plastic plates because why not? I mean, paper plates. Although I, I might use this one at the end just to to eat the final product. So you know, we don't we don't kill so many trees. Oh yeah, listen to that. That is the sound of sofrito. You see, we are sauteing our, our, our onions and our garlic. Does it look better like this? No. I'm gonna put a little bit of salt, and I have a little bit of this uh, Himalayan pink salt. I haven't been able to find it, find it anymore. They only have them at Whole Foods, and since I don't work at downtown anymore, I don't have access to Whole Foods. And I'm gonna put a little bit of black pepper too. You know, salt and pepper to taste, but you should always, uh, Put salt and pepper uh, as in every single ingredient that you put in, so everything gets that. Uh, oh, it's getting out of here. I'm gonna. Now, when 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 the, when the, that, now that you see that the that the onions are starting to get uh, uh, translucent, so you see this? It's starting to get translucent a little bit. Once, they get, once the, the onions get translucent, uh, I'm gonna put in the peppers. And then we're gonna chop the, the potato. And I've never done it like this. I usually fry the potato separately, but this time I'm just gonna make it like, like home fries and see how that works. Because uh, I wanna make it in one pot. So that's part of the challenge of doing it here in the, here in the RV. Uh, you know, I don't have the luxury. Even though this is a three burner stove, then if you are if you have one large pot like this, the other the other two burners are almost useless. Okay, well, we're gonna uh, chop this uh, potato in little squares so it cooks fast. And here we go. This table is gonna it's gonna fall down anyway. <laughs> mm. 
you know, little cubes, little, little diced. You know, it's like a diced potato. You know what? I'm just gonna stick it in there until it starts cooking. I really hope this comes out good. Otherwise, I'm not gonna be able to release the yeah, all the potatoes going there. Come on, potatoes. And now when I finish, I'm gonna put a little more salt and pepper there. Let, let me let me move it around. You know, coat the potatoes, make sure that the yeah, the garlic is starting to burn. It's not good. Let me lower it. Here. Lower the fire. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to eat this whole thing. This is a this is a 1.27 pounds, but I'm gonna show you. I bought some collapsible Tupperware that might work for this. Probably too much potato, but since I don't have any rice, that's gonna be my carbs. Oops, don't go anywhere. Now, we're going to move it around a little more. And we're going to put a little more salt and pepper. Then a little bit just to taste that. I usually don't measure this stuff. And now, I usually don't do it with the, with the potatoes at this time, so. We'll see, we'll see how that works out. But I, uh, this is the secret ingredient in Cuban cuisine. It's a golden cooking wine, dry golden cooking wine. And this is a, a Publix brand. And I found out that it's actually, actually I like it better than the leading brand, which was El Mundo. So we're gonna add a, you know, enough to cover the, the potatoes a little bit. Make sure that we still there the temperature. And now we're gonna put in the ground beef. And we're gonna make sure that it, that it doesn't stay in lumps. And we're gonna, actually, I should. I'll wash my hands now and I'll, I'll show you, you see, let me, let me. You see how, how it, how it I'm gonna just make sure that, you know, that we uh, separate it so it's not, oh, I wasn't recording, you know, I'm gonna make sure that I separate it, you know, so it, so it doesn't stay in lumps because we want, it, we want it to be almost like a meat sauce in the end. You know, I should have put a camera up here. My bad. I was so hungry that I didn't think. Okay, this is gonna cook now. I might put it in a little more uh, vino seco, which is the cooking wine. That's what it's called in Spanish. Let me fill it up with vino seco because I want those potatoes to cook. Okay, one more thing. Now we're gonna put some. It, it doesn't really. Uh, this, this doesn't really. It's not part of the official recipe, but. I put paprika on everything, so I'm gonna put a little bit of paprika. Because why not? Or maybe more than a little bit. It gives uh, smoked paprika again gives food such a, a beautiful taste. And let's do some oregano. You know, just enough so that it tastes like oregano. And then some cumin. Beautiful cumin. And, oh shoot! I'm almost out of cumin, so I'm just gonna use the whole thing. Remind me to, to go tomorrow to Walmart. Huh? That's not enough cumin. To go tomorrow to Walmart and get some cumin. Oh yes, this is gonna come out beautifully. And now, some people like it really tomatoey. Some people like it less tomatoey. I don't like it too tomatoey. So I'm gonna put just a little bit of this just to give it a, a bit of tomato flavor. This is just a marinara sauce. You know, that's what I like to use. Some people like to use the, the cans of paste, of tomato paste, but I don't. Let's 
here before? No, it doesn't fit now. Two of our vehicle pins show and uh, we're gonna put some um, manzanilla olives and in here somewhere, oh yeah, it's here, and some uh, raisins. And that's, that's, that's the big idea. Sometimes I chop the, the manzanilla olives, but I think I'm gonna put them whole today. These are, uh, by the way, uh, st stuffed with uh, minced pimento. They're very good. Let me move this around a little bit. And now, oh, one more thing. Put some uh, sweet peas. A lot of people use the canned ones. I prefer the, the frozen one. But for, for some reason, they they feel a little more natural to me. I put some. These are Cascadia Farm organic uh, sweet peas. You can find them at Publix or pretty much anywhere. And. Let's put some some olives in there. You know, a few. I don't usually count, just maybe 10, 12, 15. Maybe I'll, I'll have one now. Hmm. Yeah, they're good. They're still good. And and now the end is near. I put a couple of raisins. Just because. Why not? Oh. You see, we've been 23 minutes at this. And as soon as the potatoes are, are, are cooked, this is ready. Yeah, I will. You know what? I think I'm gonna. Let me show you what it, what it looks like from the top. I think I'm gonna put a little more tomato sauce. I think we're a little light on the tomato sauce. You see this carbonate? When a baby's putting putting it now in all their new units, I think they're, they're they've been watching my my YouTube channel. Oh yeah, this is gonna be fantastic. It might, I might have to put a little more salt though. I'm just gonna put a, a tiny little more salt. So it tastes good because it has potato, but the potato absorbs a lot of salt. I don't know if you know that. And we're gonna put um. Sometimes when I make it at home, I, I add a little sriracha, but today I don't want it to be spicy. I just want it to be, you know. You know what? I'll put the whole thing right there. So what I like to do. Since we're gonna reduce this later, anyways. We don't want to waste any tomato sauce, right? And that's our picadillo. Now this is. Um, I never showed you what it looks like. Let me show you. You see how it's hard making a cooking show? You see, look at that. It's like it's like a, it's like a chili without beans, right? But with potatoes. And, uh, I'm gonna cover it now. I'm gonna let it cook for about five minutes at least. So, so that, and, and, then, and then I'm gonna give it a taste. Okay, so that's more or less what it's supposed to look like, but I kind of um, underestimated the amount of time that, is, that it was going to take for the potatoes to, to fully cook, so they're still, they, they still could use a couple of more minutes. But. A little bottle of wine, and I'm going to have a carnivore uh, Cabernet Sauvignon from California. 